Hello my internet stars, today I'm going to be doing a review on an anime called A My Little Monster, also known as Tanari no Kayabutsukun. Hello my internet stars, today I'm going to be doing a short review on an anime that I watched recently called My Little Monster. Um, so basically My Little Monster is a 13 episode anime about a girl named Shizuku who finds an unlikely friend in an emotionally volatile boy named Haru. So basically, Haru, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, so any haters, please correct me in the comments below. But basically, he didn't want to go to school because he had beaten someone up and what he and he felt he was doing the right thing, and he was in some people's views. He was scared to go to school because he felt that other people were against him. But one day, Shizuku was asked to drop off work for him to do. And she realised his the friends he was hanging out with weren't his friends at all. They were just using him for his money. So she stood up for him. And they were just about to punch her when Haru jumped in the way. He decided to walk her home and he hugged her and he said that his heart was beating fast. That it had never felt like this with anyone before and that he loved her. She said it can't be, it must just be you haven't had any friends before. But he said he would love her and he, he always would. Now this was a beautiful moment to me because I'm just like, I would love this so much, she's so beautiful. Um. So basically, he decides to go back to school because she is there, and she and obviously he 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 loves her. You know, she she's the first person that's been that's been properly nice to him. So in the second episode, here we go. So in still in the first episode, um, he he suddenly surprises Shizuku by kissing her to see. Oh, I will feel sparks. He was reading a romance book that someone lent to him, and um. But then, in the next episode, she starts acting really weird, because the kiss just totally distracted her. And uh, But she realizes she has to pull it together and focus on her studies. She's a very study-focused person. If she's not at the top of the class, then she's practically failing. And so, she, she, she denies she has any feelings for Haru. But meanwhile, um, she starts to make friends with people, because now she has Haru in her life. And... Um, they actually found a rooster, and they decided to build a coop for it, and they remake friends with people who p nearly punished her in the first episode. Over to episode four here. Um, Shizuku tries to heal Haru's tarnished social reputation. Everyone hated him and thought he was a scary person to be feared, but he wasn't. He's actually a really, really cute person. And um, and then the the group, uh, the group, the main group. So that's Haru, Shizuku, and their two friends, who I really can't remember, so we'll call friend, girl, friend, boy. Um, but yeah, um, the group of friends, they decide to go on a mountain vacation. Um, but when they come back, they find Haru's older brother, Yuzan, is there. Yuzan is there to keep Haru where he is now. Haru was banished from home for being socially inept. And now he's able to be around people. His father wants him home. But Yuzan and Haru don't get on very well. So Yuzan talks to him. They sort of... They're civil to each other compared to what they, I guess, are normally like. And um, they make a deal. Haru will go to school and Yuzan can stay at home and have the place to himself without his younger, annoying... Life-wasting space brother, is the way he put it. Um... And Shizuku eventually finds out about this when Yuzan tells her. But um, meanwhile, Haru has a new admirer in the form of the school class president from class 1B. Episode 6 we're on to now. Well, Shizuku tries to ignore Haru to focus on her studies. Because a very annoying thing happens here. So basically, Shizuku finally well, tells start over, and I'll Haru that she love loves him. Before I say it again. But at this point, he doesn't love her back now. So she simply says, it's so beautiful. She says... I would love this. How can you stop denying this relationship? Um, look, anyway, Shizuku tries to ignore Haru to focus on her studies. 
and Chizuru hopes to overcome her shyness and catch Haru's eyes. Chizuru is the class president that likes Haru. Anyway. Um, Shizuku keeps trying to make schoolwork her top priority, but she just can't get Haru out of her mind. Because she loves him! And I'm not going to obviously say all these, don't want to be spoiled to anyone. So, I, where I am now, where she confessed to him that she loves him, but he doesn't love her back. I'm going to keep it there, because I don't want to be a giant spoiler to anyone who wants to watch this. What I've said shouldn't be a spoiler to anyone, it's just a rounded rounded version. Why is one note open? It's just a rounded version of what goes on. Um, let's say what else I should come with you. I got music on in the background if you're wondering why I'm humming. Um, basically I found this a beautiful, beautiful anime. It, 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 it was, it was a, it was definitely a romance one which some people might not be into, especially any boys that watch it. But, it's just, it's just something that we all want. Someone to just, the first time they see us, to know that they love us. Someone in the world that is truly there for you and always will be and will never leave your side. But let's see what my most favourite, my the most beautiful parts are. Uh, anyone who doesn't want to know a spoiler, a spoiler may be revealed here. But I'll try not to. My favourite part was in the very last episode. Haru was searching the entire town for a firefly that he saw. He thought it was beautiful. And as he said to Shizuku, it would be more beautiful if you were standing next to me and watching it too. And in the end, they finally found it. And Shizuku just thinks, he's right. This is more beautiful because I have Haru right beside me. And it's just beautiful. What are you doing? <laughs> but I just found it beautiful. Like you. <laughs> what else can I say about this? It's one of the sh shortest animes I have watched apart from one called Say I Love You. Um, I, I very much, as I said, it's beautiful. It's beautifully told. And I really wish that I could have been Shizuku, the person where someone loves her. She has friends. She doesn't, even though she doesn't have any friends at first, no one no one makes fun of her or thinks she, or makes fun of her because she doesn't talk to people. To all people. All people at my school. Um... And it's just a roller coaster of emotions. When Shizuku said to Haru that she loved him, and then she said to her he didn't love her, it's so, it was so frustrating. I was like, why can't you just love each other and kiss and everything be beautiful? <laughs> but I would, I would definitely recommend this anime to anyone. It's only 13 episodes, and you can find it on Netflix. And I expect other anime websites and probably YouTube. I will... I don't know for sure though. <laughs> but definitely on Netflix. And the theme song, oh my god, the theme song is so action filled. Lots of colour, brightness. Beautiful. Stop wriggling. Let's so see, yeah, I would like... This is my first anime review. Let's see, we'll rate them out of five. For this anime, I'm probably going to rate it... Four stars because of the frustration it gave me when they wouldn't just love each other. So, yeah. That's our video for today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll try and post more because I know you all love me. <laughs> um, but now after that, I'd just like to... I'd just like to say my next video, um, we're going to have a very... Uh, you don't have to watch this... Ugh. Our next video, I am going to be having a sort of talk about how the internet is a haven to me. It's the one place where I can sort of be myself. But yeah, I love you all, you guys, my internet stars, and I'll see you next time. Okay, see you all soon, my internet stars.